an assistant coach last yes. year. Yes. And you're now in your about to enter your first campaign as the head coach uh, for the track and field teams. What's that move been like for you, the adjustment process? It, uh, it's been great. It's flown by. It, it seems like it just started you know, a couple weeks ago. But, um, but bringing in Coach Wasink was, was huge for me. I knew that you know, the best programs and the best coaches have the best assistants. Mm -hmm. And so bringing him in and being able to get Joe in here was, was one of the top priorities when I took over as I wanted to get him in here. As soon as, as, soon as the job got into my ear, I, I had one thought in my head was I wanted him to come here and coach. And being able to get him here was, was huge for our program. He's done some great things. And um, they're already starting to show through. I mean, the team's excited. We've already had some great performances. Uh, recruiting's going well. Put us two together, and, and, and everything's kind of taken off. So it's, it's been really good. Uh, just looking forward to, forward to this season. You're going to compete, I, I think, in anywhere from seven, eight, maybe even nine events this year, uh, trying to get uh, folks ready for, for, the, for the Nationals. How about some of the, the key athletes uh, that you're looking to on the programs this year? Yeah, um, I mean, we've got, we've got uh, you know, some returners coming back this year that um, they're really looking to push for, for some big, big marks this year. Uh, returning Scott DiCrescenzo in the Javelin, who was uh, last year our first ever outdoor national provisional qualifier. And so we get him back this year to, to build on what he did last year. Um, and already this year, some of our top returners have, have really done some good things in our first meet. Um, you know, Wendell Forbes is, is going to really push uh, the national envelope this year in the 400 hurdles. Um, that coupled with bringing in the new coach, uh, Joe Wasink, who was a 400 hurdler himself, uh, I really knew that he could help, help some of our athletes out. And that's, that's one of our biggest and most developed event groups is the sprints hurdles here at Limestone. Um, so bringing in, you know, Coach Wasink, who, who has a lot of experience in that event area, um, has already proven that he can develop athletes in, in those areas. You know, had All-American hurdler in the 400 his first, first season coaching. Um, so just real excited about what they're going to do as that event group uh, continues to grow. Let's talk a little bit about your, your schedule because a, a lot of these meets, you're not only facing competition from Division Two, but you're also facing quite a bit of competition from Division One as well. Absolutely, absolutely. We try and go to a lot of the top quality meets around here. I mean, there's a lot of good athletes down here in the Southeast. There's a lot of good quality meets. Um, so we want to put ourselves out there and, and, and see where we stack up against them. And, and so far, we've done, done well this year. And um, you know, like we said, we'll go we'll go to Florida for a meet um, halfway through outdoor season, and there'll be a lot of teams down there that can really roll. Uh, we've already, you know, obviously we go up against Clemson, South Carolina quite a bit, um, but we stack up very well this year. I mean, we've already um, won a few events, uh, you know, taking them down. You know, so there's there's a lot going on that we're excited about, uh, and still a lot to come.